this episode of Warfish. We're headed offshore to an unexplored location, beyond the range of most boats our size. Our mission? To capture imagery of an elusive cold water super shark. Sometimes the best plan is just to have a little luck. It's late in the season. Storms and cold weather are coming on. Our window is closing. We're taking a risk, but the payoff could be spectacular. Most sharks move back south with the receding Gulf Stream, but our warm-blooded phantom lingers behind. The poor bee. This shark dominates the North Atlantic during the winter months. The name comes from the playfulness of porpoises and the acute smelling ability of the beagle. The poor beagle is sometimes confused with its cousins, the great white and the mako shark. But it has some unique markings. There's a white patch on the trailing edge of the dorsal fin. The coloring on its sides is patchy and it has a double caudal keel for speed just like marlin and sailfish. When we arrive on site, the sun is already low. If we're gonna film poor beagles, it's gonna be at night. We should be in the right spot. Mitch, Lauren, keep an eye out. Poor beagles are rare which makes them hard to capture on film. We've already drifted pretty far. We put in another bait to make sure that the scent trail to the boat is strong. Blues and poor beagles share the same area. But the blues should be leaving soon. We have a lot more blue sharks. We like blue sharks. See a lot of them. But we're not looking for blues this night. Storms are getting closer. We might have to move too many blues, and they're awfully confident, like this is their spot. The ocean is still warm enough for them. For poor beagles, we need to find colder water. Grab the lines, it's booming. We gotta move around this shore. We are very far offshore and storms like this can creep up on you fast. But the warfish is built for weather like this. We move around the storm and find colder water. Much colder. No blue shark can tolerate it this cold. It's also murkier, more plankton, more life. We watch for a few hours. Nothing. Just a few birds around. Yeah. It was definitely something. 
something there. Couldn't tell what it was. <laughs> 